Hello everyone, and thanks for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, and I'm joined here today with one of my cats named Binky. Anyways, right now we are looking at Merton Beckwith Smith. Wow, that's that's a long last name. Uh, I've literally just started this game back up since yesterday. Obviously, should I invite Ching Chan to the faction? Well, seeing as it looks like half of the country has been moved to the right a little bit. They do have Vladivostok. They lost their capital. Uh, probably not. Probably not. Casualty list, 1.39 million. Germans about to capitulate. Italians lost a lot of guys. The Spanish are losing quite a few guys. Croatia. You've lost quite a few as well. How many men has Croatia lost? This literally looks like a modern, I guess, a 1990s, early, like 1990, Yugoslavia without a Slovenia in here. So, anyways, let us continue our goal this episode. Every time I start this game up, the Germans disappear. Oh, what? Ah, uh, you know, I guess that could be, I guess, consider potentially an exploit or something. It just, every time, like, I start this up, like, the Germans just aren't on their line. The German AI is either so good or just so inexperienced or something that they're, they're screwing up the enjoyment of me slaughtering them. Now, that doesn't sound very good, but... Uh, why? Anyways, uh, our goal is to capitulate the Germans this episode, which we will most likely do. Followed up with a further expansion into Nationalist Spain, as my cat licks himself. And I really don't plan on invading Italy too much. I just want to hold. I mean, we have a good good chunk amount, amount of manpower so far. But, you know, you never know. And let's see. Ah, oh, Italians are out of manpower. The Spanish are re- or going to mobilize more men with paramilitar paramilitarism will give them... Oh, wait. I thought paramilitarism would give you more population. No, it just gives you faster training time, which is good with us. Military youth is really good. As well as... Reg oh, my gosh. Regular militarism and military youth. So good. Oh, my goodness. Uh, regardless, though. Uh, let's see what we got up here. Outdated equipment. Outdated ships. So, this ship needs to go. As well as these two which will be done in 1944 for all three of them so don't really have to bother with that for quite a while uh, with that in mind we did have one comment yesterday I'm sorry I don't exactly remember your name whoever commented it but he was looking at the Austrian focus tree concerned with uh, wait crap I forgot about this stuff again uh, Austria Hungary if you want to play as Austria and the road to 56 you need to I think, uh, you actually, you should stop as well. You need to be fascist in the Road to 56 mod if you want to be Austria-Hungary, starting as Austria. Now, if you looked at Hungary, it's the almost, I think, pretty much the exact same focus tree that Hungary has currently. The Road to 56 devs didn't do anything about it. Yeah, this is the exact same one. So if you want to play as Austria-Hungary without being fascist, you have to start as Hungary and then do restoration of Austria-Hungary under Hungary. Go figure. Um, other than that, yeah, there's really no good way to remain unaligned Austria-Hungary and Road to 56 or anything like that. If you can get to Mimel, that would be great. Uh, so yeah, that was actually interesting. I did not know that much about Austria's focus tree and Road to 56, but now since I've looked at it, it looks honestly really, really amazing. I'm, I kind of want to play a game through that, or play a campaign through that, but maybe not on this channel, maybe by myself. But it looks very interesting if you haven't seen it. It looks very, very, very fun. Un regardless of what path you take. But anyways, more about this campaign we are currently in. So we are trying to push in through a few Spanish boyos around here. Uh, that's a lot of divisions for three tanks to take on. Three tanks versus 39 divisions. Who will win? Also, by the time we capitulate the Germans, it's pretty much over. And I was thinking about the peace conferences here. Obviously, the Soviets have not really taken any German territory. Uh, so, I'm probably going to keep all of Germany under my own belt. That being said, really, for the Soviet Union, I mean, we're fighting the Axis. So, obviously, the Soviets should get some territory in exchange for their contribution to this war effort. Which is how much... Wow, the Germans have lost over 7 million casualties to the Soviets. Well, the Soviets actually haven't lost a terribly large amount. 
So, if anything, I might give the Soviets... Romania. I mean, I guess Romania was annexed, technically, by the Germans. That would be fine. The Poles, probably. Probably give them the Baltic States, Belarus, or whatever that was, White Russia, Romania, and Poland. Because, honestly, the Soviets aren't even in this territory. Not even around here. Mm, no, no, it doesn't look like it's going super well down here. That's okay. Let's speed it up a little bit. Uh, but once the Germans collapse, it's, it's GG. So, that's good, 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 good. Go right ahead. Oh, can we take a piece of Italian territory? That would be exquisite. Truly exquisite. Uh, that's a lot of divisions over there. We, I guess we can't really push into a place that's held by 40 divisions. Floating Fortress is very awesome. Let's see. Carrier Organization and Sortie Efficiency would be great. Um, let me see. Max Factories in a state sound actually pretty good. Let's do that first. I know I said I could wait on my industry, and I am kind of doing that. But, still not bad yet. Go ahead. Move the tank in here. We got two extra tank divisions that are not really doing anything. That's more than fine with me. Um, two divisions. I can't get attacked from anywhere else. Sure. Why not? Uh, oh, and the Germans have definitely come back to the line in certain places. Not sure why they're not doing very much. But you know what? You learn to not question things at time. I'll take that, please. I'll take that, please. And... Hmm. One division? Sure. Oh, can they win there? No, maybe not. They just added... Oh, maybe they can. Maybe they can. Never underestimate the power of a communist union of Britain. Also, by the way, with the, when the peace conference fires eventually, I will break up probably the Baltics. I will try to... My goal is to be equal with everyone. But some people are more equal than others. With that in mind... Oh, look at that. It looks very nice now. I mean, not really. It looks pretty ugly. Anyways, I do have coffee here, but I will probably liberate Slovenia, make the game, like, extremely hard. Uh, Bosnia-Herzegovina, potentially. We'll see what happens. Croatia is obviously here already. Uh, Serbia... You know, Albania. Ah, very good. And we use our tanks to distract an enemy. Very good. Very, very good. Take an infantry division to help out, since most of these divisions are over here. Oh, you have been defeated. That is not good. Well, I mean, you grind your tanks down into nothing. What do you expect? Uh, we're trying to get better tanks. Amphibious tanks would be very nice. Land auction, we are done with. Support companies, we could really use maintenance companies, actually. Yeah, let's do that. Updated equipment. Anything new? Anything different? No, 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 no. And the tank is back. Ready to rumble. Fighters, we need to do a little better on. Oh, that Ching China was puppeted. Finally, wow. Uh, oof, that's disgusting. What the heck? So, you are now a puppet of Japan. So, Japan took out Ching China. Very interesting. Very interesting because they were fighting against each other. China is... Getting invaded again, but that's pretty normal. Better field hospitals are always a great thing. Uh, let's get better at this, because our tanks could probably use them in the mountains of Hispania. Oh, they really want Barcelona, it looks like. But they're killing themselves again. Spain, you're losing quite a few guys here. You're losing quite a few guys. But then again, I guess you really don't care. Uh, da -da -da. Take half of you, come down here. Uh, then the rest of you come over here, you guys come over here. Six divisions, screw it, just go ahead. Screw it, go ahead. Um, since we're attacking, we must well attack here. Take a little bit of territory. Since we do have quite a bit of manpower now we can work with. I love the manpower. Take one division, come over here. You guys should be fine. Other than that, we can't really... Eh, we can move there. One division per tile. A little risky, a little risky, not gonna lie. Especially over here. Germany, how close are you to capitulating? Yeah, 91%. Not like, su you're, you're super close, but not extremely close. Uh, I really want to push the Italian shit in, but whatever. Uh, come on, baby, you got this. Not bad, they got a single division over here. Can one division take out a cavalry division? That's extremely weak. Well, with a little bit of backup across the river, I believe so. Ah, aircraft production group. Better fighter costs. That's okay with me. Jet engine aircraft. Sounds very fun. 
Wait, what's that? Enable mine sweeping technology. Well, they don't really sweep for stuff. Oh, better fighter models and heavy fighter models. That's good. Have we taken? We have taken a tiny, tiny piece of Italian territory. That is great. Mm. And I quickly finished up that cup of coffee. Wow, that stuff is good. All right. Very good. No one wanted to be here, so we will make sure someone is there. Come on, Soviets, keep doing something. I know you're trying to fight the Qing Chinese, but this is disgusting. It's not, it could be worse. At least Japan's pretty vertical now. Qing China's kind of a straight line if you ignore this area over to the right here. And there's Is this a blotch? Oh, no, that's just a darker... What the hell? Ah, that looks disgusting. It looks like some sort of ward or cancer spot on Shangzi. Oh, uh, what else do we have here? Oh! Oh, uh, wait, what? Italy has called in Legendaris Bulgaria. Did they just flip? Are you kidding me? The Axis just keeps finding new members to add. That's kind of a nice flag. Uh, I don't really care for the lion. It's okay. I like that they have the Bulgarian flag in there still, though. Hmm. Interesting. Why we fight special forces? Well, they don't have a lot of divisions. They have no navy, a few planes. I'm not really concerned. I mean, it's Bulgaria. What do you expect? And there goes any sort of Bulgarian viewer I had. Okay, then. Ah, oh, Panzers! Combined arms expert or Panzer expert? Obviously, I always choose, almost always choose Panzer expert. Maybe unless it's the beginning of the game. But yes, let them, let the, uh, the uh, Spanish boys, the Spanish boys, come try to fight me. Do a little bit of a tussle. All right, now let's let's program ourselves so that we can move accordingly around the area. Take Prague, that'd be good. Take over here. Take over here. I got some forts around here. That's not good. Um, since they're attacking, you can probably come over here. You could probably attack this direction as well. You actually, might not do well though, seeing as they do have some forts, and I'm using 20 with infantry. But you never know. Hmm. You take this group out, take half of you, come over here, take half of you to help force the attack. And since no one's over here, we will come there, and then we'll make sure these people don't move. Half of you come over here, take the other two divisions, attack that way, as the Italians are attacking us. I love it. And I will finish this portion of uh, German-held territory there very soon. Now tanks, I really need to concentrate you down here. three provinces. I really need to shore up this line a little bit because we only have 15, 14 divisions on the, along this line. Uh, go ahead and push this area in. I know you're you know, fighting in the mountains and the attrition isn't very good. Unit air keep, upkeep, uh, Qing China. You know what? I'm done with non-encryption packs. And we have been trying to push them in. We are getting... We're doing well. It's just they keep adding more and more divisions into here. But since I have plenty of tanks in reserve, I'm not really concerned. And the Germans are trying to attack us. One division per province, per, or at least per tile, is not the greatest. Oh my gosh. The United States declared war on the Mexican Soviet Republic. What is your justification for this, United States? Did you not build the wall? Well, they didn't obviously have a focus to do that, really. Um, I'm really not sure why they did that. Northern steel plants, I mean... It only makes the United States stronger. What is Canada up to? They're not in a war. They're just kind of hanging out. Uh, actually, that reminded me. I don't know why that reminded me, but let's take a look at Amsterdam. Because right now, they are only 54% communist. But uh, the weekly democracy thing, they will be stopping this soon. Actually, we get 1.03 of that a day. Let's keep doing... We'll do this to make sure that... Actually, no. We're just going to boost their party, party popularity in Amsterdam so that they will remain communist. And it costs us 0.25 daily, even though we don't get that much of a return. Whatever. I just want to make sure that they stay communist when the next elections happen. Yes, please. Keep attacking me. Um, uh, well, maybe not. I have an open hole here. Oh, God. Uh, they're attacking, so we should counterattack at the same time, right? Makes sense. Germany, you are winning probably a few battles. That's okay. You have 20 guys in reserve. As the Soviets are pushing down. They are pushing. Wow. I mean, I guess after Qing China became a puppet to Japan, it didn't really matter much. 
Uh, we probably will have a couple open holes here, which is not ideal. But the tanks are making headway down here. Hmm. And yes, this, you could say that this is kind of extending the line if I push it down here, but not really, since Barcelona already has a division. Good. Uh, let's push... We need to push somewhere else. Uh, come back up here. I'm going to push over or through the mountains, maybe. Even though I will probably actually need some of my tanks up this way. Hmm. Three divisions. Well, they're not moving. Looks like we were pushed... Oh, I got encircled. Oh, boy. If you can push down that way, do it before the Germans realize what I'm doing, or the Italians, or whoever's up here. I don't mind losing a Palanga, as long as I get those three divisions out, because I don't want to write too many letters home saying, Oh, why is your boys dead? Oh, it's because we wanted to do this. I'm going to push these guys in. Oh, yeah, those Venezuelan divisions, or division from Venezuela, really went quickly. Very quickly. Come on, push. You know what? I'm going to push you up. Okay, so we got it. We got it. Cool. Very good. Shorten the line to... There you go. And actually, you know what? Let's reform the line. Since we have uh, a lot of divisions here, it might be a good time just to reform it. As we let the Soviets do a little bit of pushing for themselves. Oh, oh better tanks. Great. I love it. Artillery's good. That's good. Support companies. Miles Dempsey wounded. That's not good. Air reduction, actually, we've kind of neglected more air support. Sure, why not? We've got a lot of air XP, even though we haven't really done very much with it. Come down here. Yes, it's a mountain province, but there's two pretty weak divisions. I'm not too concerned. Good. Uh, Prague. Wow. Take Prague if you can. That might just kill the Germans off. I doubt it, but they might. 92% of the way. The Soviets are coming back, boy. And actually, I think the Soviets are now at war with the United States, as the United States is slowly taking over Mexico. But they took a piece of Texas. Oh, I... Oh, no, 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 Mexico. We want... We build the wall for a reason there. You're not supposed to take Mex Texas back. <laughs> no. Oh, boy. Oh, they are attacking us, but... The Italians are... The Italians are special. They're special. I'll just say that. Um, anything else that could benefit us on the ground right now? Army logistics, air superiority could be good. Could be very good, actually. Screen defense and attack could be very good as well. Hmm, armaments, backstabber. What am I building? I don't even know what I'm building. Actually, I do want to do this, but you know what? Maybe we should get some more. Ooh, disable the Magnet line. Eh, it doesn't really matter. I don't mind keeping that for now. Let's improve worker conditions. We get more weekly stability, less factory output, which is fine, and we lose consumer goods, but that's okay as well. Invade Ireland? Wait, why would I want to do that? Oh, I have to be democratic. Oh, whatever. Invoke the Alliance of 1373, whatever. Well, they'll be our allies soon enough anyways. Uh, what am I building? Forts. Königsberg? Well, you don't really need a fort there, but whatever. Oil? Rubber? Goodness. I love it. Yes. Hmm... Ports, ports. Yes, I love the ports. Don't really need any more military... Actually, we might need more military factories. I don't know. We'll see what happens. At radar, though. Radar. We'll build that up. In the east, we really don't have that much radar. Build up in Plock, then. That That's pretty good. Yeah. Mm. Send that to the top. Awesome. The Soviets are doing a good job. They might actually make it to Bulgaria. If anything, I'll give the Soviets Romania and Bulgaria, because they're probably going to reach there soon enough. Uh, yeah, this... Uh, oh my god, Italy, what are you doing? Don't you care about your men? Three million casualties already? I mean, we are trying to reorganize our lines. We might have a couple holes here and there. How are the tanks doing? Uh, they are... They, oh, that's not good. Uh, attack here. Push. Oh, we can't... Oh, we have too many tanks to do that. Okay. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, they push us back. I really don't want to lose Barcelona. Hopefully we won't. But I guess we'll see what happens, you know. Uh, just push this way. William Slim wounded. I want to get across here somehow. Just push this way. Just go across, and I will reinforce this area soon enough. Mm, Germany? I mean, the Soviets are closing in. I mean, they definitely have a firm grip on part of Bessarabia. As the tanks 
have decidedly let in some enemy divisions. Great. Good. Take this airfield if you can. Cover that territory as he's leaving. I'm going to make sure that we don't really have holes here just yet. And yes, if we lose Bar Barcelona, whatever. They're really trying a hard push down here. Whatever. Wow, the Spanish are trying extremely hard. I need divisions over here, but... Eh, if we lose a little bit of this, we can always expand this way. It's not too... Unthinkable. I mean, the Spanish... They're, they're running out of manpower, so that's why they went all the way to adult, adult serve. Fighter command, very good. Jet aircraft, amphibious warfare, marine transport technology. Strategic bomber, tactical bomber sounds pretty good to me. Oh man, they are trying hard. Oh, we lost in Barcelona, that's okay. We're getting pushed out, but honestly, it could be a lot worse. It could be much, much worse. Actually, I need some more infantry division since... Uh, do that. I could use them a little bit more since the Axis is desperately trying to kill me as they're losing... Uh, I don't know now. Romania is not doing so well. They almost pushed us out of Spain. Jesus. But the Spanish are paying an extreme price for this. Over almost one and a half million casualties. I mean, if we lose this side of Spain, that's okay. We got another side of Spain we can invade. Brian Horrocks... You need to level up faster. You're only level 3. Come on, man. The Italians are here as well, trying to do stuff. They push us out this way? Germany. No. No, 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 no. Uh, over here? I don't want to attack. That's too many divisions for me to try that. Hmm. Anywhere good. Uh, Plitzen? Praha? Yes, please. Uh, very big Germans. I love it. Breslau. Oh, I love Breslau. I want to go there someday, I think. Even though it's not even called Breslau, it's Polish nowadays. Uh, let's see. Very cool. I would like to go to Europe someday. Also, if you don't, if you're an American, by the time this goes up, today, the Monday, is the last day to do your taxes before you get fined by the government. I just thought I ought to share that with you for anyone who has not done their taxes yet. I hope the IRS does not come after me. I mean, I, I don't. I make so little money, it's not even funny. But, uh, don't come after me, government. Please. Please. If, even if they do, they won't find very much money. Anyways, tax day. Gotta love it. Especially if you work for the government. Oh, they have an open hole here. Not good. Not very good at all. Wow, they are really trying extremely hard. They're pushing some of my divisions out. Holy crap. But they're, they're just dying like crazy. Wow. They've got to be running out of equipment or something. 14. Oh! Do we have... We have two more divisions, which I actually... I'm going to send down here. And screw it. We're going to rename this to the other S word. Pain. S pain. Spain. Very good. Delightful. Uh, go ahead and keep pushing in, guys. There's no point for you to not push in, so... Uh, yeah, let's do that. Take all but one and attack this way. Hmm. Praha was not enough. We get Tabor. Uh, y'all come down here. Actually, y'all can come over here. Since the Germans are continuing to abandon their lines, shrink their lines up so that uh, when as the Soviets are approaching, they can have a better defense. At least that's what I think that they're doing. Oh, yeah. Choice attacks. Yeah, that's the Spanish, Italians, or Germans are, are pushing me through here. But it's at a radical cost. This is an enormous cost. I mean, look at these divisions that Spain has. They are literally running out of manpower as they're mobilizing. I mean, yeah, they're pushing me out a little bit, but you know what? Whatever. I'm going to make sure they can't push me out too far. I don't want to lose too loose. I mean, we lost one and a half million, but for all this, it's, that's really not bad. Yeah, get the tanks over here. If we lose a little bit of this, you know, whatever. It's a grind. It's literally just a grind at this point. Can we take out these guys over here, potentially? Maybe we can. That would be awesome. If we can't, that's still okay. Three divisions, they're busy attacking. Whatever. Uh, can you attack that way? 
Germany, what is your map like? I mean, you have a lot of territory, but you don't have cores on these territories, which actually does help us out. I would say quite a bit, since we have taken almost all of regular Germany, except for, like, you know, Austria. Concentrated industry, that sounds pretty good to me. Um, extraction, I mean, we could use more rubber, but honestly, I think... Let's go with this. Land night attack would actually probably help out, since it is 8 o'clock in the morning. You know, whatever. Oh, we lost Toulouse. Oh, well. Things happen. You know. Go and help them push um, out this direction. Uh, okay, they abandon the line. I like it. Okay, they abandon Toulouse as well. As we will just come back and try to take it from them. We are still trying to fight for this dirt patch. The Germans, will, the Axis will literally die for their cause, so. Ah, uh, quite unfortunate. Um, well, if there's no one in the mountains, just keep on pushing down, I guess. And if no one's here, uh, that's, I don't have enough divisions down there. I want to capitulate the Germans so badly. It's been, it's really been a long time coming to push these guys out. Take all of you but one to attack this direction. Seven divisions is quite a lot, though, for these four divisions to attack. Eunuch. Uh, you sh Oh, two divisions to attack this group might be too much. Blitzen. Yeah, the Germans are just so weak now. I hope the Soviets keep up a lot of attacks. That's all I can say. Uh, go ahead, come here. Take half of you guys. Now as Dempsey's wounded. All, eh, take all but one. Attack here. Take all but one and also attack here. All but one again. Eh, anywhere else? Uh, do that, I suppose. Six is too much for me to attack. Yeah, the Soviets are... I mean, they were doing well and then they get pushed back. So, Guatemala is now at war with us. They joined the Axis because Mexico declared war on them even though they have an American neighbor that's really just pounding their heads in and I will capitulate the Germans by the time this episode is over so all but one come over here because I know even though we're taking casualties we can't exactly win every battle if I get Munich I think it's over it, it has to be over this is worth how many points 20 victory points yeah it's got to be over after I take Munich and then all these attacks in Spain will probably slow down probably but, you know, you never know. Tanks, tanks, tanks. Are you still trying to get down there? I didn't think you'd actually be able to make it down. Never mind. You actually made it. And there we go. Like I said, we took Munich. We get the stockpile reserves. And this is going to be one hell of a giant freaking mess. Oh my god, Poland is back. That is... Whoa. Uh, I'm not at war with them, so... Technically, the Soviets are still at war with me and Mars. So... Actually... So the Axis turns green, which is, I'm totally fine with. With this in mind, we still have to kill Hungary, or the Balkans basically, and Italy. So, uh, let's see. Oh god, this is going to look disgusting. Actually, no, it won't. We can just do one regular front line. Yeah, one massive front line down here. So we actually did it. We capitulated the Germans, like I said, in this episode. Um, if you can, I want you to attack. If you absolutely can. Go ahead. Get Bologna if you can. Oh, do you have upgrades? No, no, okay. Disappointing again, but you are a ranger. Neil Urchi. That's good to know. Hopefully the attack's down here in... Oh, oh crap, forgot to make better... God dang tanks. Uh, go ahead and increase the armor. I want just armor so they can't penetrate us as well. That's pretty good. Best armor. Pretty good reliability. Uh, speed, so you can get in there faster is okay. That's not too bad. So you get mostly really good armor. So they can't penetrate you. You get a little better soft attack, a little better heart attack, and a little bit more piercing. That's actually, I think, really, really good. Uh, uh, yeah, the tanks, you broke through the mountain. Just hold on to that position. Because God knows they're going to keep coming at you. Alright, so. Carrier naval bombers, eh, increase that by one. We need more rubber. That's okay. It's... Not even 1944 yet. Don't have to be concerned about too much. Uh, just keep making infantry equipment. Actually, I can probably give the... Irish. These are the Irish people. That's right. I can probably just give them a bunch of things here. 10. 47. 
Uh, we'll give you, I don't know, 80,000 rifles as well. And 4171. Cool. And you know what? We'll be nice. I'll give you 1,000 things of that. Cool. Uh, okay, then, yeah, we got another South American, or, oh boy, that's not good. Central American enemy, uh, whatever, you know, people ban the line all the time. Hopefully the Italians really won't capitu capitulate, I mean, do that. Uh, the dawn of the American Union. Huh. Duras. Well, they're in their own faction now. Yeah, oh man, Italy owns a lot of this. That's not good. Please go ahead. Please get to the line when you can. Uh, Henry pa Poundwall, fast planner. Uh, eh, maintenance company is good, good, good. 1943 air doctrine is going well. This is going okay. Tactical bombers, I could probably actually do better on. Uh, cruiser holes, I don't really use cruisers. Oh my goodness, I didn't even realize this. That's good. Oh, we were actually pushed out. Holy crap. Go ahead and stop your organization right now. And we're getting attacked on our left pretty hard. Come back to the left. Our goal is Bilbao and Huesca. Alright. Have we taken some Italian territory? It looks like we might actually might have. That's good. William Slim, you are... Not bad, not bad. Awesome. Awesome. We have Graz. Very good. We've taken a lot of territory all over this place. Italy's called El Salvador and whatever. Uh, Soviets, I hope you get this area because that's kind of exposed. Uh, you know, exposed wing on my side. Uh, but overall, really not that bad. We've done some pretty amazing work here. Oh, and before we forget, think brigades. Get some of that on there. Oh, yeah, that's good. That'll definitely help. And since the AI has already reacted to the fundamental shift of change of power since the Germans capitulated. We probably shouldn't expand too much, but then again, we are winning in Bulgaria. And I did tell them to be careful. So, overall, not too bad in this episode. They're, the Croatians are almost out of manpower. The Italians have a little bit of manpower on Scraping the Barrel. Uh, Spanish have a little bit of manpower on All Adults Serve. And Bulgaria has a couple guys on all adults serve as well. Hungary is just dying over here. I love it. Guatemala. No one gives a shit about Guatemala. Uh, tanks. Push. How many enemies you got? Uh, whoa, 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 India, whoa, whoa. You're not supposed to join any sort of faction the United States has for quite a while. Whoa, why did you join? <laughs> The American Union. God, if I have to invade the United States in this campaign, I might flip my lid. Maybe I will, maybe I won't, but regardless, we need to end our episode here. I've gone on a little longer than half an hour. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. I did prove to you guys that I would capitulate the Germans in this video, which obviously I have. I'll leave a like for that, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you tomorrow as we begin to really push the Italians, uh, push the Italians down the stairs so they won't get back up. With that in mind, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And don't forget to do your taxes.